Hi, it's Janie. Welcome back to my channel. And today I have a Pink Soul unboxing for you. And if you're unfamiliar with this, this is a Korean skincare um, subscription service. And it is a bi-monthly subscription service. So you get it every other month. And you do a little skincare questionnaire at the beginning. And then they send you products kind of based on your concerns and how you answer your questions anyway so we're going to open my box which of course I've already opened because I can't wait to see what I have and typical me I don't have everything I need I got to get my readers so hang on okay I'm back so anyway so we're gonna each box will come with a yellow piece of paper that has um, the products listed, how much they cost, and how to use the products or a little bit about the products. So in the box, you will always get a couple of sheet masks and they are complimentary. So they're not included in how much your box is valued at. So they don't ever list the um, sheet mask. And for this month's or this portion or this bi-monthly box is, um, I was making sure that they didn't put these on there, but for whatever reason, they sent quite a few sheet masks. So um, they sent, instead of two, they sent four. So I got four sheet masks. <laughs> and there went one. And this one is by the brand G9 Skin. It's a slice mask sheet in strawberry. And it's supposed to be for moisturizing. And then a um, from Goodall, a ginseng infused honey. And I've used one of these and I really do like that. So I got another one of those. Another one from G9 Skin. And this is the Milk Balm Mask. And from G9 Skin, the Self Ascetic Waterful Facial Mask. So that one there. And then something else that was new that I have not had before is some samples. So I got some samples and I got to put my glasses on for this. Um, the Keiko or Cacao Moist and Mild Toner. Oh, this is from Benton. So that's a good Korean brand of um, skincare pro products. I'm not for sure how, what to do with this because, oh no, here it is. Well, it just says to apply as suitable amount to face and softly pat until fully absorbed. It doesn't tell me moist and mild toner. So anyway, there we go. Sample of that. And then the other one is from Isa K. Knox, Age Focus um, Phyto Pro Retinol Wrinkle Oil. And there is no directions in English. So that was a sample of that. So anyway, so that was something new, um, samples, that was kind of nice. So anyway, so let's dig into my box this month. So the first thing in my box that I'm going to show you are some um, cotton pads or cotton puffs as they call them. It's the Biosystem Embossing Cotton Puffs from Nature. And it's just some little cotton rounds, or not rounds, squares, little squares. I'm not going to open them because I am nowhere near the point of needing any cotton squares. And these retail for $5. So $5 and there is, I was going to tell you how many is in here. I see a number th that says um, 100, but I don't know if that's how many is in here. It looks like it appears to be 100 in there. So I'm going to say there's a 100 in there. Then the next thing in my box was this here from a pew, and it's a um, peeling gel. 
and I'm assuming it's one of those that you put on your face and start rolling it around and it has um, how do you say that Lact lactobionic acid it says say goodbye to dead skin cell hmm and this retails for wait ten dollars this retails for ten dollars supposed to be very gentle and prevents moisture loss the skin will leave your skin soft and moist yeah. so anyway that was in there so I have that I just got something similar to that in that Joa box too so I have two peeling gels now to use and then I got another one of these I got one of these in the, my Joa box which is a sunscreen from um, who is this from this is from a Pew also and I don't know if I'm even saying that correctly but it's a <clears throat> everyday sun gel with SPF 50 plus PA plus 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 um, it's $14.95 and this sun cream is formulated with tin fruit complex to nourish your skin it's a gel textured sun cream so it's lightweight but also delivers hydration without feeling greasy or sticky feeling so um, Anyway, I think I'm going to put this in a giveaway. I'm going to have a giveaway coming up very soon, so you're going to have to stay tuned for that. And then in the box, I received two hand creams. And the hand creams are $10 each. And um, this is from the brand Duft and Doft. Duft, D-U-F-T, and Doft, D-O-F-T. Not making that up. One is in rose, one is in rose, and the other one is um, Pink Breeze. So I'm not going to um, open these or smell them or anything because I do not like hand cream. I can't stand any kind of lotion, hand lotions on my hands at all. So these will be in the giveaway also. So I'm not going to test those out here on camera. I don't want to mess them up and then the last thing that was in my box was from the brand um, Hygie H-Y-G-G-E-E -E, which I'll try and put down here what it is it's all-in-one cream and this retails for $45 and it's all-in-one multi moisturizing cream that will keep your skin moisturized um, while strengthening the skin barrier with five kinds of vegetable oil to prevent moisture evaporation. Hmm. I don't know about that. Vegetable oil. first ingredient is what does that say my glasses aren't quite sharp enough to see what that says it's some kind of juice and then it's water so I don't know it does not look familiar to me whatever the juice is in there I'm going to have to research those ingredients. The main ingredients is moisturizing skin barrier for excessively dry skin, which I do have dry skin. So we're going to open this and what is your high G is what it says here. And this is kind of cool because it says open date and it has a little space here where you can write where you've opened it so you know how long you have before you need to toss it. 
So that's a good idea. And of course they put a label there that is writable on there. So let's open it and see. It smells, a, it smells like it has a little bit of a fragrance in it, which I kind of wish they wouldn't do that. I'd rather just smell the ingredients, even if it smells bad. I'd rather just smell the ingredients than smell fragrance. And that's what it looks like. It's a white cream. And it's not too heavy. It seems to be going into the skin really well. I would say this would be definitely a night time. But I'm still kind of kind of worried about when it said vegetable oils. Vegetable oil makes me think of the stuff that we fry stuff in. Does it not you? I don't know. Vegetable oil. I don't know if I want to put vegetable oil on my face. But it feels good. Still a little concerned about that smell because it does have a fragrance in it. Let's see on the box. I can see where it says fragrance at. And of course they put the lettering so well you're not gonna be see they able to see that. It's so tiny. So so tiny. I do see a lot of the oils though. high up in the ingredient deck. One that I see that I can pronounce and then I know what it is and that's hydronated, well, I thought I did, vegetable oil, which I think is what we cook with. I'm gonna have to put a little note here. I'll let you know. Mm-mm-mm. Does it have fragrance in it? I don't see fragrance listed, but it sure smells like it has a fragrance. Probably not seeing it. I'll put a note, I'll put a note here to let you know about where the um, fragrance is listed. Oh, and it has a little scoop too. I just now seen that. It has a little scoop. I always lose those. I never use them. I lose them and I don't ever use them. So anyway, that was it for what I got in um, my bi-monthly box. A little disappointed in it. Um, just mainly because I got the hand creams. I don't like hand creams. I got the cotton pads and I didn't need any cotton pads. I wanted some good stuff. I got this again. I mean, anyway. So. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope that you enjoyed and I'll be talking to you soon.